In this video, I'll show you how to make a templated Sanger sequence assembly using Seekman Ultra. To get started, launch Seekman Ultra. In the New Assembly area, click New Sanger AVI Assembly. Click the Add button to add your read sequences. To add the reference sequence, click the Add Reference button. Note the check mark in the ref column, denoting that the sequence has been correctly entered as the reference. To have Seekman Ultra automatically trim read sequences based on quality and or the presence of vector, check one or both boxes. By default, Seekman Ultra will use the installed vector catalog to detect vector sequence. To instead look for custom vectors, navigate to the file or folder of vector sequences using the buttons to the right of vector trim. If you did check the vector trim box, press trim now to perform trimming. Quality and vector trimming results, along with the names of any located vectors, will appear in the table. To view trace data for a read, double click on its name. I'll make the chromatogram preview area larger by sliding this bar upwards. The orange background on the left denotes sequence that was removed during the automatic trimming procedure. To display quality scores, you can click on the Q tool in the upper right corner. You can choose to show scores or show average scores. To trim a sequence manually, grab the slider at either end of the sequence and drag it to the desired location. Any changes are reflected in the table above. To start the assembly, press the Assemble button. After assembly is complete, contigs are shown in the Explorer panel. Select a contig and open the alignment view by pressing the uppermost tool icon. To zoom in and out, use the green zoom slider. To return to default zoom settings, use the CT or T tools for more compact or less compact displays. To search in the alignment view, first open the search bar by pressing the magnifying glass icon. Then use the drop down menu and the green arrows to the right of the menu to perform the search. To view assembly coverage, click the second tool on the upper right to open the strategy view. To see reference sequence annotations, click the plus sign to the left of the reference sequence in either view. To view a report showing all variants in the assembly, use the variants show variant table command. This table is initially sorted according to reference position, but is fully interactive and can be sorted by any column. Selecting any variant in the table will cause the alignment and strategy views to jump to that position. This allows the variant to be viewed in context. To filter the variant table, click on the Filter tool. To view trace data in the alignment view, right-click on any read sequence and make a choice from the menu. By default, disagreements in this view are shown with yellow highlighting. To evaluate quality of the data behind the SNP, you can display quality scores using the Q tool. Use the slider tool to increase or decrease peak heights.